approach with a above reproach operating out of a skip behind the United Nations. This week, the Tocho team tackled a very meaty topic. Is it safe to eat giant space whales in um, Wales? Assisting me with this week's review is the arguable uh, starter of the episode. That'll be me, Yanto. I was extra cool this week. All brooding menace, righteous anger, and hot gun for action with my tiny shock prod. Uh, cool in your own mind, maybe? <laughs> we'll get to you later. It's Reese we're welcoming. All right, uh, Jack. I'm glad to know what my Gwen's been up to. Indeed. Uh, fancy a headache, Pell? <laughs> That's a nasty wound you got there. No, uh, I'm, I'm all right. I, I've just had an ice cream. Okay, well, maybe later. This week, the team tracked down a mysterious meatpacking crew who seems to have come into possession of a shogoth. Honestly, you'd think they'd read their Lovecraft. But the bigger mystery was by far. Why were all the men in the factory clones of each other? I, uh, I think they all just shot to the same branch of Primark. Uh, yeah, well, perhaps, uh, apart from the big lump of meat. Yeah, is, is that me you're talking about now? No, 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 no! I mean the space cow! But aside from that, the highlight of the episode was the shouting matches between yourself, Reese, and, well, pretty much everyone else. Tell me, uh, is there a possibility you'll actually explode before the end of the season if you get any crosser? Oh, no. But now I know what my Gwen's been up to. I just don't trust that handsome yank. Yes, 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 he is rather stunning, isn't he? Um, time for a pill yet? No, I'm, I'm just fine, me. Oh, yes, Uncle Yantu will sort you out soon. No, one lump of Leaving two. aside such issues as that awful picture you use at the computer desktop, and Torchwood's ability to hang around outside the scrapyard the villains were using as an HQ for half the episode doing nothing, I fear we must focus on Owen and Tosh. We've seen this relationship coming for weeks, and this week, with the aid of a sandwich, Tosh made her move on Owen for real. Oh, they make a lovely couple. No! No, they flippin' wouldn't! The woman's totally codependent! I mean, after Freezer Boy last week, now she waits until Owen's all upset over his euthanasia on the space beastie, and then she strikes! She's a potential body boiler, if you ask me, and I don't like the sound of that. And, uh, I suppose since we're talking about Tosh, and all. Uh, yes, May, Captain. Don't call me that. Yanto, can we have your scientific analysis of the episode, please? My pleasure, as always. Stop that right now! This week, the Torchometer didn't register a single moment of torch whatsoever. <laughs> oh, then I realized halfway through I had forgotten to plug it in. Sadly, it seemed after the riches of last week's effort, other than her pursuits of Owen, Toshiga didn't have very much to do at all. However, thanks in part to her rather wet efforts to entrap herself the hub's serial sugar, we registered this episode as... Tosh? Tastic! Oh, 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 oh. Well, it, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, how so? Jack could have tried putting the move on more than just Reese's chubby secretary. I, I, I don't follow you, like. Do I have to spell it out? I thought he and the big space whale were going to have a special snuggle for one moment. Ugh! No wonder he ends up looking at the face of Bo if that's what he tries to pull. So, there we go. A solid story with character development for Gwen, and a pretty much so so mystery for the team to solve. So it, thanks to my guest Reese. Who are you? What am I doing in this sewer? Why is the paper towel dispenser in your medical base so dirty? Oh, Grublox. Has he taken one of these pills? Well, he was looking a bit peaky, so I, I slipped one in his tea. Yes. <laughs> oh, I do not want to be the one to have to break this to Gwen again. Oh.